Hey guys, Hunter here. Got my 2016 F-150 Lariat in the shop today. Going to be installing a few items that I'm really excited about. Uh, first, what we're going to be doing is the SST kit from Ready Lift. This is a pretty awesome kit. Uh, basically, three and a half inch lift in the front, two inch lift in the rear. Comes with your tubular control arms here. Uh, obviously, replacing these kind of weak uh, factory ones. Comes with the rear block setup. Got the front uh, coil strut spacer here, and then it's got a preload spacer uh, as well that's gonna go on there as well. What we're also doing, super excited about this, is uh, putting on a set of Falcon front struts and a set of Falcon rear shocks. Uh, these shocks are awesome from Falcon, and they've got some really cool features uh, that we're gonna show you guys and talk about today. Uh, for the rear, and, I, and I'll kind of tell you why I, I went with these shocks, but for the rear, this is their this is their sport tow haul series. And so it's actually got a setting and an adjuster here on the rear. Depending upon, you know, kind of how much weight you're towing, you can set the adjustment for that. And, and this truck behind me here, it's my personal rig. It's going to be used for, uh, I've got a side-by-side -side that I haul, I've got a boat that I haul, and I, uh, these are going to perform flawlessly for, for those reasons there. And then for the front struts, it's actually got... Uh, it's actually got different circlip uh, areas that you can adjust your ride height on. So uh, if I want to just be leveled, if I've got heavy bumpers on the front, heavy accessories, I've actually got a higher clip I can put in for that, which is a really neat feature. And uh, we're going to be showing you kind of what we're going to be doing with that and how we're going to mesh this ready lift kit uh, perfectly with this Falcon kit. So pretty excited about the install here. We're going to we're going to get to it. I want to do a little breakdown and show you what exactly we're going to do on the front here. So we've got our factory top hat and, and coil on this Falcon strut. And normally on the SST kit, you would put this preload spacer basically in between the spring here and the top hat. We opted not to do that, just going over the guys with Falcon. Um, and what we did is we put the, the snap ring on the strut on the medium setting. So on this Falcon shock, you've got your stock setting, you've got a medium setting, a level setting, and then even above that, you have like a heavy accessory setting. So if you, if you want to be leveled, but you got a super heavy bumper, you got a winch. Um, so what we're doing on this truck, I've got stock bumper, no winch. Um, but I wanted to opt out of using this preload spacer, and so I'm actually setting it, uh, the snap ring, on the medium setting. And then, of course, we just set our factory spring and factory top hat and everything on. And then what I'll be doing as well is, uh, in the SST kit, it includes this, uh, this upper coil spacer as well. So um, we're going to put these on, and uh, then we're going to get them on the truck and see how she looks. guys hunter here going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, install we just finished up on this 2016 f-150 so we got the ready lift sst kit on we've got the falcon front struts and the falcon tow haul rear shocks on we think it came out pretty dang near perfect uh, install went pretty good uh, ready lift was super easy to get on everything in the kit that you needed the falcon shocks they look amazing they're going to work amazing um, and we wanted to talk about two the tire and wheel setup that we decided for this package um, I use this truck, I'm going to use this truck for a lot of off-roading, I do a lot of hunting, so we went with an aggressive mud terrain, these are the Milestar Patagonia MTs, went with a 315 70 by 17 so pretty much a 35 12 50 um, and then what I put on these as well was the Venom Rex uh, 602s and the 17 inch. Uh, awesome wheel, awesome tire combination, the wheel is actually about four and a half pounds lighter than stock wheels, so we really like that. Um, 
and then the tires are, are pretty aggressive for what we want to do off-road as well. So um, we're going to take this thing off-road and see how she does, but uh, install and everything went really clean and awesome products.